what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Galaxy Quest. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. You. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers, my little golden doodles who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. I really do appreciate it, and I love reading your fun facts in the comments down below. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you keep enjoying my videos over and over and over again, and you're watching them all the time, but you're still not subscribed, maybe consider clicking that little red button down below, and you can become a little golden doodle today, or a golden retriever, whatever floats your boat. Today we are watching a movie that has been requested so many times here on my channel, and that is Galaxy Quest. This has been requested since the start of my channel. Pretty much since I watched Star Wars, I've had this movie requested a lot. I do want to quickly address the elephant in the room. I do know that this movie is supposedly a parody or at least heavily inspired by Star Trek. No, I have not seen Star Trek, but this one a poll over on Patreon before I knew that it was tied to Star Trek in any way, and it was also requested a lot of times um, by people who didn't mention that it was tied to Star Trek. <laughs> I also Googled it to see if like this viewing experience was gonna be really bad because I haven't seen Star Trek. And a lot of people have actually said that they've seen this movie without having watched Star Trek and still had a deep love for it. So I feel like it's probably a good movie anyway, and it should still be a fun watch. I'm aware that there are gonna be some references and some jokes or maybe just some lines that are kind of like a callback to Star Trek. I'm open to watching Star Trek for sure at some point here on my channel. It's just kind of like a bigger project, so I haven't gotten around to it yet. I do know that this is a thing in Star Trek. I'm pretty sure this just means hi. I don't know. I hope I hope that's what it means, because I, I, just did it to you, so hi. That's like pretty much all I know about Star Trek, other than like, you know, there's Captain Kirk. Um, that That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's all I know. So this is gonna be a really fresh experience because it's been requested so many times and even people in my um, real life, like friends in my real life have been surprised when I've said I haven't seen this movie. So I'm excited to watch it. I hope it's gonna be a fun time, even without having the knowledge of Star Trek behind it. And without any further ado, I really think we should just get on into this and see what it has in store. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Galaxy Quest. Oh, also I'm really excited because I saw like Sigourney Weaver's in it, Tim Allen is in this, and Alan Rickman, whom I love and miss so much. Exiting the time not now, sir. We are alive. We made it. By Grub's Thaw's hammer, we live to tell the tale. Look at that little kid look to the camera. All systems are working. Oh my god, Sigourney. Oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? It's a core meltdown, sir. A core meltdown. Stop. Surrender. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, this is funny. Oh, it's a parody. That's great. The zoom! Activate. The Omega-13. What's Omega-13? To be continued. Oh, it was a movie within a movie. The Galaxy Quest convention. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, Tony Shalhoub, Sam Rock. Oh yeah, this is Sam, isn't it? Holy f he's so young. I love Sam. I love Sam Rockwell. Oh my God, wait, I had no idea this was like meta in this way. Oh, it's the kid all grown up. Man, where in the hell is he? Oh, Tim Allen's character? Cause he's the star, huh? How did I come to this? Not again. I played Richard III. Five curtain calls. Five curtain calls! They all know the speech. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me. <laughs> no one even bothered to ask me what I do on the show. He's losing it! He's losing it! I love Alan Rickman! Whew! Your commander is on deck. Oh, wow. Hi. There he goes. Alexander, wait! Grab him! Grab him! Oh, because he's panicking? He doesn't want to do it? This is so funny. You can do it, Alexander. You cut me out of episode two entirely. The show must go on, come on. The show must go on. It's a curtain call, man. It's an encore, come on. The show must go on, yes! <laughs> we'll say that stupid line one more time. Yes, you will, yes, you will. Because you're a people pleaser and an actor and you're desperate for people's love. Oh, hey, man, I wanna thank you for that nice intro you gave us today. Um, Guy. Guy. 
Oh, his name is Guy? That's funny. By the sons of Warvan, I shall avenge you. He looks dead inside. If I grab the They're They're gonna keep repeating the line. He's losing it. Had I moved an inch to the left, the beast would have killed me. At least he's still passionate about it, I guess. Oh, he at least he's. I don't remember what happened to that beast on Enoch Seven? Right? <laughs> oh, look! He looks at he's. They love him. He's really passionate about it. Excuse me, Commander. Listen, <gasps> Justin Long. Uh, you can help settle a dispute that my crew and I seem. To... Oh, do they have a love thing going on? Don't leave, Justin Long. Minute, fellas. Oh, oh, they're so cute and though. Then the relevant conundrum. Oh no, Justin, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I must speak to you. It is a matter of supreme importance. We are Thermians from the Klaatu Nebula, and we need your help. Wow, you're a really good actor. Is this about the gig tomorrow? I bet they're... Are they real aliens or something? Mum is the word. Certainly, but... Um, Mum. 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 Rain? F Wilson? It's true. I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Oh my god, this cast is insane. Interesting shot. I like the choice to like film them through the table. Oh, they're here! Oh yeah, they're real aliens or something, aren't they? Something wacky. It's gonna merge fiction with reality. Please, Commander, you are our last hope. Oh my God, the way that they act with the smile. Would you guys look for another shoe that looks like this, please? Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh my God, the physicality is so funny. I love the choice, the way that they have to act. Our people were one pe What's your name? He's trying to flirt. Doesn't she talk? Her translator is broken. <laughs> Her translator. That's honestly so, such a funny choice. I'm sorry to wake you, sir. But your presence is requested on the command deck. Oh my God. Why do y'all think he's a commander? You just watched a television show and we're like, that's reality? Oh, her translator's fixed. <laughs> Would you like to don your uniform? No, you know what? I'd like to skip that. I got this gig in, in Van Nuys in about a quarter of an hour. Is that all right? As you wish. I got a gig in Van Nuys in 15 minutes. You're going to be late. I require the Omega 13. Wait, the Omega 13. They all think it's real. Gannett magnets, fire them left and right, and let them run all shoots while you're at it once yet. Toss that at him, killer. I don't think they like it. Yeah. Look at the way they run! What a... An interstellar vox. What? Hey. How can we thank you, Commander? Oh, He doesn't deserve thanks. You did, did you? He did it. Oh, a hug. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, you kids have been great, you really have. Thing is real looking. It's, yeah. I can't wait for him to realize where he is. Is he about to realize it? Are they gonna send him into space? He's about to, he's about to have a rude awakening. Is that how they just send you out into space? Ah! Wow. Oh my God, that's amazing. Sorry, I just got distracted because there's a squirrel outside my window eating an orange and it's really cute. Anyway. But we've never seen space age values like we've seen here. Oh, it's an ad. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Alan. <laughs> By Grabthar's hammer. Finish it, you can do it. What a savings. What a savings. Oh. Oh yeah, let's just litter while we're at it. Lovely. Oh, they're still around. Found the Omega search. Oh no, oh no. My apologies. Oh, he mixed up. Evidently we had a little miscommunication regarding Voyage. Did you didn't show up. Oh. You did it again. Poor Justin. It's okay, you just got an alien device thing. That's pretty cool. That kid, where's that kid? Oh, they're here, whoa, they're here. However, he has Saris. contacted us and wishes to negotiate a surrender. We humbly implore you to come negotiate the terms. Isn't this amazing? They want me back and I want you guys to go with me, please. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> All of you wish to go to the ship? Yes, we wish to go to the ship. Oh, is Sam Rockwell gonna come too? Protector, requesting four interstellar- what? Me too. Five pods for immediate- Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. 
excited. Guys? Yep. Yeah. It's a real deal thing. Oh, oh. oh my God. They're losing it. Distant shrieking. Oh no. It's not going well. What is that? Oh my God. What are they doing? Oh, that's their real form, huh? We forgot about our appearance generators. <laughs> Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> Anybody else? There he is! That was a hell of a thing. He's not even trembling. There, he's so fine. He's like, yeah, whatever. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love the way they all they all whisper. He still did the look, the smizing. Oh, they don't know who he is, huh? Crewman number guy. 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 If we have modeled every aspect of our society from your example. Oh, that's probably it why. Saved us. Oh, it did save you. Oh, oh, don't tell him it's fake then. Don't tell them it's fake. They're not going to take it well. I love that they can't like laugh right or walk la right in like their human um, appearance form. It's like they're trying to mimic humans, but they can't quite get it right, which is so funny. It's like such a funny acting choice. I love it. Look, this thingy. The thingy. Uh, I remember, I remember I had it all worked out. Luckily, they copy the entire show, so at least it works the same way. Start engines. There you go. They're holding on. <laughs> They're all so worried. Are they just gonna be weirdly good at it because it's all copied from them? That'd be so funny. You're drifting, huh? St uh, Laredo. It's just, a, it's just a scrape. Yay, just a scratch. All right, we're good. Woo! Oh my God, dude. <laughs> They're all panicking. When I grow weary of the noises you make, you shall die. <laughs> what is up with Sam Rockwell's face? What is going on? We meet again, Commander. Hello, Saris. He's got an eye patch now. He didn't have that last time, didn't he? Red uh, thingy. Moving <laughs> toward the green thingy. Yeah, you're about to die. <laughs> Look at his face. I'm, I'm dying over Sam Rockwell's performance. Oh no, the controls. Woo! Woo! The controls at least are simple. The, the generators won't take it. The ship is breaking apart and all that. Just FYI. He's so chill. Why is he so chill? I remember that sound. That's a bad sound. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> what are giving her all the dumb, obvious lines? <laughs> Listen, you guys are still in a sealed space with oxygen is so impressive. Um, what about the engines? 87% damage. Computer, what about the engines? Why don't we have power? The beryllium sphere has fractured. It's fractured. Can it be repaired? Computer, can it be repaired? Why are we doing this to her? Why? Stop, I get it. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, <clears throat> Computer, is there a, a replacement beryllium sphere on board? Computer. No, no, Sigourney! <laughs> She's doing a great job of like playing the dumb girl, but I hate it. I hate it. Look, I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm gonna do it, okay? <laughs> sure, no problem. I have one job, it's to repeat the computer. <laughs> Listen, we found some beryllium on a nearby planet, and we might be able to get there if we reconfigure the solar matrix in parallel for endothermic propulsion, what do you think? I, let's do it. We'll do that. Right. <laughs> let's do it, group hug. 
Oh, there's Rain Wilson. I was wondering where Rain Wilson was at. <laughs> I'm losing it, guys. This is so funny. But now I'm thinking I'm the guy who gets killed by some monster five minutes after we land on the plane. He's having a panic attack. I'm not. What's my last name? Well, we don't know that. Because my character isn't important enough for a last name. Because I'm gonna die five minutes in. You're right. I have a last name. Do I? <laughs> Do I? I'm just coming. Number six. Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> ah! Bobby. <laughs> wow. Hey, it looks like Earth. It looks like Arizona. He's so chill! <laughs> He's so chill! He doesn't care at all! He's having a snack pack! Wow, Tommy, great job! Brilliant! Oh my god. It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Is there air? He's panicking. Seems okay. <laughs> This, oh my God, it's Sigourney Weaver fixing her hair because that's her part is to look hot. Oh my God, it, he's, <laughs> the guy, the guy always smizing, I can't. I am losing it, man, this is so funny. They're all playing their types so well. Uh-oh, oh, there's a lot of them. Would you look at that? They look all cute and stuff, but I bet they're not. I bet they're really vicious. In a second, they're gonna get mean, and they're gonna get ugly somehow. And there's gonna be a million more of them. Did you guys ever watch the show? No, they didn't. Let's see, they're gonna help the little. No, they're gonna kill him, aren't they? They're gonna waterboard him. <laughs> oh. Guy knows what's. Before those things kills Guy. Before they kill Guy. Anywhere without a beryllium sphere. Okay, well we should get Guy out of here. <laughs> Guy's right. Assault on Voltrex three, episode eighty one. We're doing episode 81. Is 81 the one where he dies? Because so I died in episode 81! Yeah, episode 51, right? 51. 51. Thank you, Chris. I bet all the creatures can hear them now. Look. They're gone. Oh, guy's totally gonna die at some point. Anything at all, you give us a signal, all right? We'll Guy, eyes up here! <laughs> oh, they're all around. Wow, you did such a good job. You did such a great job notifying of. Tommy, go! No, 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 Jason, please! Why did he do that? What, he forced himself to stay back? Why? Of course, it's always about you, isn't it? Oh my god. He just couldn't help but get the attention, really? I think I can take it. They have cameras there? What? Probably going to get cut up into a million pieces. It turned inside out? And it exploded. <laughs> it exploded. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, darn. Yeah, you're the one that insisted on leaving the ship for attention. Don't put the eyes like in episode 22. There are no eyes. Don't put a mouth to the throat. It's vulnerable spots. There's no body parts. It's rocks. You construct a weapon. Look around you. Can you form some sort of rudimentary lathe? A lathe? <laughs> Get out the lathe, guy. Lathe, a lathe. Just going to have to figure out what it wants. What is its motive? Oh, from an acting perspective, what's its motivation? It wants to kill you. It's your problem. You were never serious about the craft. The craft! Fred! Fred, can you hear me? Fred! Yeah, he's doing it for her! Yeah, Fred's back! Yeah, this is great! Digitize me, Fred! <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, great timing. Oh my god, the guy still has bits of Garignac all over his face. It's awful. Oh, they're here. He's here. <laughs> Sam Brockle's face again. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there he goes. Do you think I'm a fool? See, like a bug man. Look, kind of reminds me of the grasshopper in a bug's life, you know? When he gets angry and his wings come out. Show him the historical documents. Computer. She's got to tell the computer to do it. Ah! It's a TV show, man. 
See, he knows at least that it's just a TV show. He understands the concept. Explain to him who you all really are. Oh no. They're so sweet though. Explain! Oh, look at, oh, he's so, oh. We lied. Oh, no. <gasps> yes. No, no. Our brilliant sphere is, is wire with. Oh, he's dying. This is actually killing him. <gasps> ah! He's so devastated, I can't. Ah! In nine minutes. Where's the happy ending, Jason? He still has bits of the pig on his head too. I hate it. Can we just wipe it off? I don't like it. You fin-headed monstrosity. Oh, are they gonna start fighting as a distraction? You're starting to act like you did in episode 17. 17, that's the cue. Oh, right. He knows what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Fake combat, yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah, send him into space! Hey! Great job! Sorry, the door's a little sticky. Did you see that? I'll get one of my boys up here with a can of WD-40. <laughs> door's a little sticky. I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor, and unless you took a learning annex course I don't know about, I'm pretty sure you don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor either. Oh, well, that was a long line. I know someone who does. Justin. Brendan, honey, garbage. Oh, mother, I'm quite busy. And he got the real phone. This is such a great moment to have come back around. Ah! Oh my God, this is great. Okay. What's your name, son? Brandon. Brandon, the way he speaks. Brandon. Crew and I are in a lot of trouble and we need your help. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's his time to shine. Enter the passage second to your left and just continue straight for 50 meters. Ducks. Why is it always ducks? <laughs> is that like an alien reference? I don't know when Galaxy Quest was made, but I feel like that would be like a reference to alien. Brandon, what does the Omega-13 device do? Myself and others are convinced that what it is is a matter rearranger affecting a 13 second time jump to the past. Ah. Really not enough time to do anything of any importance. Be time to redeem a single mistake. We're gonna do that right now, huh? We're gonna have to use that. Chompers? Well, screw that! Oh, oh my- <laughs> She definitely said f that, but this is the PG version. <laughs> Because it's on the television well, show. forget it! I'm not showing it! This episode was badly written! <laughs> Whoever wrote this episode should die! That's so funny. It's badly written! <laughs> I really wish I'd heard her say that. I feel like that would have been funnier. We saved. He has saved us. Commander Tiger Desi. Hey! He's... No. Oh. It's not fair. It wasn't! It wasn't- Oh no, it's really not fair, dude. I'm sorry. It wasn't him! Yeah. You're just not the lead. Quellick. I'm- I'm shot. Quellick. No! Oh no! You'll forgive my impertinence, sir. My impertinence? But even though we had never before met, I always considered you as a father to me. Oh wow. You were the star in his life, not Commander Taggart. Oh, he did it for him. Oh, he did. Oh, that's cute. You shall be avenged. That's cute. Oh, look at his face. He loves it. That's so cute. Because the whole time he's hated saying that line. But that's like the first time he's been like, F it. You know what? This is worth it. And he means it. He's still reloading. He's still reloading. He just stood there and took it. <laughs> Core implosion estimated. 20 seconds. Push it. Push it now. Oh, no. It's not going to be it, huh? Brandon. Oh, he had to take the trash out. The severity of the commander's predicament. Oh, my. <laughs> 
I cannot stress the importance. Three, two, one. Oh, is there no core? Is it fake? It just was a fake countdown? It always stops at one on the show. Our boobs are out! <laughs> Why are our boobs out? <laughs> our boobs are just out now! I can't! Put, zip your shirt back up, ma'am! Oh my god! All right, Tommy, see if you can lose them in that minefield. In my minefield? Pedal to the metal right now. Pedal to the metal. All right, let's go. My minefield? He had to panic there for a second. You're the plucky comedic relief now, guy. It's okay. If you are counting on me to blink, then you are making a deadly mistake. Are we going to do the, oh, the 13 second rewind? My ship is dragging mines. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a I'm dragging mines. Wait, how did that even happen? How did he send him the mines without hitting him? What? How did he do that? That's amazing. I thought we were gonna use Omega 13. <laughs> oh my God, that was so cute. Sam Rockwell and Sigourney Reaver both jumping up and down like schoolgirls. So adorable. Oh, wow. The ship was a marble as big as this. A very clever deception indeed. Oh, he thought it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a joke, yeah. I think your people have a great commander. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> this actor is killing it. All right, Tom. Alan Rickman's head just looks so crazy. That's so funny with the hair poking out. Shouldn't be downstairs until we just, hey. Oh, we're gonna have to do the Omega 13 rewind, aren't we? It's not Fred, huh? Come on, do the energy rewind. We can do it. That was the melodrama. Sam, guy, everyone's dying, but guy. Look, guy's fine, he's just. He's just standing around, covering his ears. Yeah, do it! I hope you'll remember what happened. We're out! We're going home. Yeah, he remembers, great. Fish, what are you doing? It's not Fred! He's gonna try to kill all of us! Are you kidding me? Oh, wow, amazing job. Great job, dude. Oh no, the cars. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. The convention. Wow. This is gonna be all of their dream happening right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, girl, please zip up your shirt, ma'am, please. I know that's what the people want, but still. Oh, Saris is away. Yep, see, we didn't shoot Saris. Well, that works flawlessly. Incredible. It's evaporated. No evidence. Wonderful. Uh, true love. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow, true love. Wow. Yeah, hug Brandon. Can we get him up on the stage? Come on now, they did it. Oh, okay, that's good at least. They saved your life. Uh, at least you can do is bring him up on stage. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's not just about him anymore, yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Could you imagine if somebody was just crushed under the spaceship that busts through the convention center and they're just like, it's okay, I'm dying, but that's fine. They made a new movie. Oh my God. Oh, she's on the cast now, yay! Jane Doe. <gasps> yay! He's the plucky comedic relief! That's so good, man! I'm dying, I love this. <laughs> that was so cute! Oh my God, that was so funny. I, that was amazing. I, that was awesome. <laughs>
So I do understand, I think, why people are like, hey, this is a parody of Star Trek, and so it's fun to watch Star Trek before. I get people's opinion on that. However, I don't really feel like I needed to see Star Trek. I'm sure there's some like jokes and references that I'd probably understand better if I've seen Star Trek. However, this was so funny and they played into so many different tropes that don't even feel like they're just out of Star Trek, just tropes that are making fun of actors or making fun of character typecasting that I really, really enjoyed this. It was really wholesome and funny. I just loved it. My God, the acting was so good too. Like I just love the choices that they made for the aliens and how they were supposed to kind of carry themselves and the physicalities that all the actors had to embody when playing them. Actors like Sam Rockwell, like his facial expressions the whole time. The fact that all of the different actors knew exactly what their role was and some of them would be smizing into the camera even if... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the scene wasn't about them at all. Like, it was just so funny. I feel like I could watch this again and catch a bunch of stuff that I missed, just little nuances and moments from every actor. Alan Rickman was just so, like, melodramatic because he's the theater guy, and it was so funny. I really, really had a good time watching this. I really am happy that y'all suggested this a lot. It was just such a hoot. And yeah, I likely will check out Star Trek at some point here on my channel. It's just a bit more of a commitment to get to, uh, but I'll be interested to see what I think of this movie after that and maybe rewatch it again with that perspective in mind. But I really had a fun time watching this regardless. I think it was hilarious. I also think all the touches with them breaking the fourth wall and being, you know, celebrities in LA and seeing bits of their lives in LA as just as actors like that resonates with me as a person who's, you know, worked on movies and worked with actors and lives in LA. So I I didn't really feel like I really needed a ton of backstory on Star Trek to have a good time with this movie and really get what they were going for with it. Obviously, I'm sure that there are like funny little quotes or references that maybe parallel exact moments from the Star Trek series, but I just think the whole premise of them you know, talking about, oh, this is, we're gonna reenact this moment from this episode, okay? Oh, that episode sucked. That's the episode where I died. Like, that whole shtick was just so funny and it never really got old. I loved it. And there were just so many fun actors in this movie, like Justin Long and Rain Wilson. I mean, the cast was just stacked, even in the supporting characters or the smaller characters. It was just so much fun to watch. I really, really had a great time. I should look up real quick. When was this released 1999 yeah so well after alien so i would be willing to bet that that line that sigourney said about the ducks was a reference to alien because that just makes sense but you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below that i'd bet money on that but maybe i'm wrong it was just so freaking funny and when she rounded the corner she's like what the is this (laughs) with the slamming contraptions like this writing was bad we shouldn't have to do this it was just so freaking funny, man. I, I really could watch this movie all over again, probably, you know, next year and a couple of years. Like I could definitely enjoy this movie again relatively soon. It's not one of those ones that I feel like I need to wait. It was so enjoyable and so silly and funny and everything just kind of came back around in the end in a perfect way. Like with Justin Long's character coming back into the picture or the Omega 13 thing happening. Like there were a lot of little moments that happened that just felt really satisfying or even just the very last moment at the end where you know Tim Allen's character brings them all on stage to bow with him and it's not just about him anymore. He's not a complete self-centered egomaniac now. Um, It was just really sweet and I loved it. So thank you guys so much for the suggestion. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.